Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emmy, and on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install ArcTPS completely from scratch. ArcTPS is a damage per second meter developed by Delta Connected that tracks various metrics for both yourself and your teammates. This includes damage per second, boon uptime, and crowd control usage. It's commonly used by the endgame community to measure each player's contribution to the fight. I'll show you how to install it really quick. Um, for the people that stuck around, I guess I can show you how I configure mine and get this nice looking array at the bottom of the screen. The main two keybinds that I use very frequently are Alt-Shift-T, which will open up the settings menu, and Alt-Shift-H, which will hide the entire UI until you press those same buttons again. Now, once you press Alt-Shift-T, you'll see this nice looking options UI that's much better than what it used to be. And make sure you have these four boxes selected. This will make four windows appear, two area damage windows, one area buff window, and one metrics window. Next, right click the title header on the area damage UI and you'll get some more options. The main thing I want to point out is this display option right here because in this tab you can set how you want to view the stats shown in the window. In my personal opinion, I find that laying things out using at 2, at 5, at 6 is the most informative. At 2 will show your average damage dealt to all targets, and having it first in the order will create this nice looking cascade of bars that's ordered by total damage over time. At 5 will show your average damage dealt to the specific target, which is good for measuring how much you've contributed to the specific target's death. And finally, at 6 shows the percentage of the target's health that you've done, which is nice for i don't know anyways it's, it's fine after that you want to right click the title header on the second area damage ui and mouse over the sort advanced tab as you can see you can track a ton of different things but for the sake of this tutorial we're only going to talk about the break bar table click on the break bar button under squad and this window will now show you the amount of break bar damage each player has done so you can keep an eye out on who's skimping out on cc this bar is pretty big, so I personally like to make it a little bit thinner to fit into the array that I have here. The boon table is a little tricky and there are times where it doesn't track boons perfectly. For example, in cases like fractals where there's frequently a lot of pre-stacking done, it doesn't seem to fully reflect the current buffs on your team. However, it's still a great tool, so here's how I configure it. I like to have the in, one, and you check marked since the in will make sure your table shows the amount of buffs each player has, one will display the list of boons that are really important, and you is helpful for seeing the numbers as percentage. Next, right click the title header and mouse over the buff list tab. For me personally, I find that might, fury, quickness, and alacrity are the main boons that I really care about, so I like to get rid of everything else. This helps with visual clarity. So to do this, you want to move all of the other buff IDs below this zero. This will hide them on the table. Click the back button on the zero button until the divider is where you want it. Now that we've covered all of that, I'll give a brief demonstration using the Golem Room and the Lion's Arch Aerodrome, which can be accessed by anyone in a 10-man squad by going through the portal next to the bank in the raid lobby. As you can see, when I get into combat, it begins tracking how much damage I've done to the target, and it tracks various boons that I give myself such as stacks of might and fury, and it will even track damage to the defiance bar underneath the target's health bar. Now let's make it pretty. In order to change the font of the meter so it's a little less jagged, you'll need a font file. I recommend using Google Font to find one that you like and downloading it to somewhere easy to find. For my own meter, I am using Leto Bold 700. Extract the file, move it into your Gewers 2 add-ons ArcDPS folder, and rename it to ArcDPS font. So that is what I personally like to have displayed on my screen during endgame instance content since it gives me a very good grasp on my personal contribution relative to the rest of the team. There are a lot of other customizations that you can do, so feel free to play around with it and see what you like. Before I end the video, I do want to include a few disclaimers and answer a few frequently asked questions. 
First of all, will using this tool get me banned? ArenaNet is very well aware of the existence of this tool. In fact, the developers have worked personally with the creator of the tool, Delta Connected, on projects in the past as referenced by this statement by developer Chris Cleary. People that have been banned for terms of service violations were likely using ArcDPS in conjunction with other banworthy actions. That being said, always use third-party resources at your own risk and do enough research to feel secure in your actions. Another question is, don't DPS meters foster toxicity? The majority of players that I have met that use ArcDPS use it as a tool for personal improvement. And when the situation calls for it, group improvement, such as during raid or fractal trainings or if someone is very clearly asking for advice. Elitism and toxicity go against the terms of service, so please help the community as a whole maintain an easygoing and collaborative environment. In my very anecdotal experience, I have met very few people that weaponize the information that they get from DPS meters, but if you encounter someone being toxic, file a report in-game, block them, and move on. How do you export logs so you can review them later? You'll want to have this box checked under the logging tab. This will save each raid or fractal encounters log under your default Gilwars 2 path. To upload them into a shareable form, you can then go to dps.report and upload the EVTC file there. After a brief upload, a link will be generated that has all of the information about damage, utility, skill rotations, and combat replays. My ARC DPS keeps crashing my game. This most likely means that you have an outdated version of the file. Every new patch introduces some issues, so you'll want to keep an eye out on the last modified tag and make sure that the date is after the most recent patch. To update ArcDPS, simply re-download the new file into the same location and replace the old file. That's all I have for this video. If you would like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or commenting to tell me what you think. I am also an ArenaNet partner and I stream quite regularly on Twitch, so if you have any questions that you like answered, please feel free to swing by and say hi. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next video.